yeah. Back to this. So, let me tell you something else, right? So, you know, New York became really squalid and disgusting. Like, I was outside of a building, and now I'm going to talk about the doorman cults. I, I, I was talking earlier. Um, what time is it? Today's. Like, let me get you guys caught up. It's uh, September 5th, 2020, right? About 7 in the evening, evening time. So, I was talking earlier about how I want to discuss atrium, this idea of like what happens when someone walks in and out of a building. So the doorman cults are the worst. I was talking about this Kew Gardens Village Mall shit. I was talking about how I used to live in Elmhurst Avenue and Jackson Heights. They were just basically murder grounds, you know. Um, and that's what happened is that you guys created cults for celebrities uh, because you know that if I get married, you can default me for a lot of money, you know. And that's why I don't go to your courts, courts for that. That's satanic. I think there was like a wedding at my job. They tried to kill me there. Uh, that's why I told you, if you're a waiter, don't ever go towards the altar. It's a good thing I want to teach you guys. Um, another thing, too, is, uh, you know, because you're obviously not waiters. That's what I'm saying. They, they engineer a whole fake economy around murder and secrecy and torture. You don't fuck with those losers. Most of them won't survive you uh, if you know what you're doing. Uh, and that's really because they know that there are felony uh, evils and large amounts of brutal, brutal masochism. Even like Voodoo Fumai zombies, and they'll hack your body to pieces and put you on the altar if they have to. You know, and for a fake wedding contract. So those are basically engineered bankruptcies. They fake. When you find them, you just cancel those dollars. They never had a real job. So, you know, a real woman that loved me would walk up to me and pay me directly. You know, see how that works? So that's like a lot of like sort of crepuscule insecurity that you're, you never worked out your sex drive. And I've been fertility since I was 16. Remember, I had a woman basically rape me on the internet when I was in high school and make a porno and then sell it for mad money. And then they lied and basically kind of re-engineered my career. They just shot me and drugged me and put me back in school. But they didn't do shit. I just chose to keep getting an education because I didn't really feel like this vagrant, uh, hussy-ass, disgusting behavior of cocaine abuse, meltdown, like sex rampaging rapes are real life. You know, you can't live that way you have to have rhythmically healthy relationships every day so that's what i'm saying it got so nasty the last of these evil fucking psycho terrorists were even like working with my mother they'd actually like perform rapes and make pornos and like interview my family and all this weird shit and i found my other relatives were in on it like oh let's just get in on this banquet of abuse they really just wanted me to plead handicapped i thought that was funny which is sad because they were sick their whole life and just dying of disease from within it's really disgusting that's why they flee from country to country and when they go someplace else they usually get arrested I'm just saying, don't feel bad for these other outlying cops. They try to kill me in Connecticut, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, even in Georgia, because they're like, oh shit, Malik Social is basically a large investing block alone from the money I had. Really not money, but valuation, really, of production credits from over 30 legendary films. I mean, many good movies. Watch Wrath of the Titans. That's a legendary pictures movie. I did that one. So I was in there. That's cool. So notice how the banking system falls off fast, right? And I was talking about this. So there's women that are abusive. They're men. And when men come at me for different reasons. Racing, metal parts, banking. And they say, you soft, you bitch. We want jewelry. We want gold, diamonds. They say, you got to kill your way to uh, uh, $100 million. I'm like, I'm, I'm like, wow. But notice how like no one actually speaks anymore. So I'm going to talk to this about the evolution of senses and how Babel really is what kind of deconstructed the economy. We had three bankruptcies again, three stock market crash over nothing about the fact that the banking system where we're at now don't really count money, but they want to hype you guys up to have a reason to go to work so don't listen to these dollars you're going to see so much disease and fake shit most of you really won't have a reason to start school this year you know and this you guys are still trying to sell playstation 5 i didn't get for, played for the first playstation you know i was at everything from crash bandicoot to spy with the dragon to abe's odd world we all do those games they're just different uh levels of skill in uh drafting and design and i'm a fine artist i'm a painter and i'm an author so it ain't nothing and i have biotech you know so it's just that as a civility, you guys fell out to abuse. You just you just think it's a little big thing, little deal. You gotta understand with business, the bigger firms really look for more broad and more stable talent. So if they know you're gonna hold it down, you'll work till until it's fucking done and perfect. They respect that, even when there's a lot of struggle in life. When they see things are better, they respect that too. You know, but it's just like you know, the budget shit never really pays you guys. You guys are stuck on indolent, and the global market is still trying to figure out like where all this scam money went. And we know you guys fucked up bad. So I, I know hip hop was a banquet of murder. Several women in R&B and, and hip hop tried to murder me. The key with the, these attacks is they use prowess as nerve spray. So they'll try to kill you where you're at. If they don't succeed, they die. Or if they try again, they, they fail. But at least you get stuck not remembering what happened, you see? So they can take advantage of you for other shit. They can rape you, take money, get you to sign fake contracts. You have banquets of just like extortion and rape under prowess as nerve spray. You never know what you're doing. You're sleepwalking, they're trying to kill you. You know, until, until you're dead. My, my own, my, my own 
uh, female relatives in my mother's sort of circles, they were all psychopathic murderers because they did finance. And they said, oh shit, well, you know, Monique's father basically, you know, bankrupted us by making sure that he has real work and we're just sitting in Manhattan trying to make the value of U.S. dollars matter to the rest of the global market. And it doesn't. There's only really a couple of dope ass firms at the top that do the key, key critical shit. The niche masters, let's put it that way that make large amounts of funds, we were not solving with the rest of them. We stayed off the market because they already paid for torture and mnemonics in my control and they kept coming around with the drugs and the guns to intimidate us. So y'all just petty thugs. Y'all die right where you're at. You know, there's easy ways to deal with this. It's just the gumby fu money. I don't have to die for y'all. I don't have to love you either. We just keep it moving. It's just it's just a tr it's just a transient stage to leave fake shit behind. So anyway, um, you know, I said that. Doorman calls it bullshit. I was just charging my phone, my, my, charging my device I have just now against the building has a little socket this, this doorman has the audacity to walk out and tell me you can't charge your phone on that device so i was like well who's the owner of this building because i'm saying now as adults you, let's say you have a name my name is malik Rousseau francois i need to speak to this owner you're not going to send some fucking shill in a suit that's why i'm saying y'all getting dis disparaged the doorman system is a cult they know who's who in hip-hop but they train everyone vocationally to disavow intelligence no one knows who you are they don't know who, who pays them you see so they stay they keep themselves broken stupid and everyone else broken stupid so everyone can stay in a st still a hurt ass loop of fucked up shit you see so information and just dis dis distributing information is more valuable than your fake ass covid bankruptcy if i don't have an apartment in that building he's done i'm in our system work since 1989 the new york times can't fire me dragon ball z dragon ball super rather is never looking for other animators until i'm dead and it'll be the most beautiful death or never recognized so the stupid shit is just that uh you guys you just got crushed diddles and hurt dick i mean i know it i know it's about the gay rights movement which is not real you guys don't have the resolution about your family life i know it's about mental health and libido problems that's really about domestic circles where they can rape and abduct kids secretly or make fake sort of configurations of consenting sex and still have many many lovers and many many types of abuses and even still prostitute and human and organ traffic you know and sell people's names and cultures people kidnap you and keep you on the island drug you every day and tell you where to go and everywhere you turn there'll be sex and sex abuse but it's like, you know, as long as I rule your mind and your ego, you can touch my banking system. As long as I could export you for sperm and, 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 and stem cells, your blood, your, your name, your nomenclature. I do what the fuck I want with you and you just kind of sit in the back and you're just a fucking waiter until we're done. Just enough, you see? So this is the torture rituals. Fortunately, the, the monarchies of Central Europe, they bankrupted. They're still looking for like a never-ending fucking, uh, you know, slave cult about messiahs or men with uh, psychic powers. Oh, shit. They have extraordinary conductive skill. Who they can just abuse for fun, you know? Oh shit, what's this? Alright, let's see if it works. So, we not fucking with that shit. It's fake shit. I gotta honor the tribe. It's the finest horticulture of Gaia. It's the Pude. It's the real people of the Umoja. You know, the Chemites. The, uh, the priest and the cleric from Hakupta. We've been building pyramids and temples all over the world. You know, we're Moors. More signs prevail. You know, we are emanated from... Central Asia, all over Central Asia. So when they're creating this hysterical diaspora about keeping us divided and stupid, they're telling you they don't even want you to know your history. So don't get stuck thinking it's Illuminati or broken. When you actually study esoteric sciences, you realize that we are people of the earth. We are evolving and changing emotionally. We grow and we learn to love. So this fake media circus is just a diaspora problem. I'm basically stuck at MSN, which is part of MSNBC. So they didn't pay for nothing. So we're gonna get that Jake Draco EV running hot, right? I was at Charter Communications. I was evil bankruptcy. I think I'm I'm one of the main leaders of RCN exclusively. I gotta we gotta check everything in terms of how we develop real uh, you know parity to equations of ownership in terms of the percentages. But whatever, you're gonna see what the math is. I, I, we don't have to really discuss it, but if it's not real money in ducats, then they fucked you up. So the whole thing is they they put enough violent crimes on my resume that I could con be considered never really a whole or living man. So as long as I'm not anywhere being anybody with any official position, I don't exist. So and then they come back and around in this banquet of torture, taking pictures, uh, projecting all types of heinous devices, reflecting, stealing information right from my biotech, even my aura, which they can actually get. They can get the, the in energy of the signature of what you are relative to information and the structure of your vibration listen to that Boop. see i'm giving you the knowledge so remember it's all about vibration remember that e equals mc squared and when you want go to youtube search for the song prodigy give them hell that's a dope ass track learn to like that okay dope ass production flex that shit shout out to p funk so you know it never had to be much it's just like some the core ones have to tell the truth i'm going to talk about why the central divine line is the real one that emanates and originates the true cont continuity and prowess. Uh, a lot of the superfluous shit around you is fake, right? Your energy has to be about love and your truest love. Once you heal from within, 
you heal from without. And you, once you become a perceptive sort of doctor or nurse, we talk a little bit about nursing. It's not really real, but it's because there's not there's not you know a hundred thousand nurses walking around an office right now. There's not that many, much of a health crisis, uh, or, or or a physical one. It's just that people need to feel better. They need to learn more. And really, your nutrition alone should get you paid. You could build a house practically for nothing. There's surplus construction instrument, uh, construction equipment. You know. So I've been saying a lot, but we're going to talk about it. I'm going to kind of review a couple things. So the first one is Atrium. The doorman cult is the worst. I walked in and out of this building, Kew Gardens, Hills, Village Mall. Obviously, I fucking do Pacific Rim and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I don't get any fucking respect when I walk into the building. There's no such thing as a nomenclature or banking or intelligence relative to my name. So these dollars get canceled. They're just fucking snoozing for $17 an hour. I saw this other fucking Gestapo loser out here with a suit. He actually was wearing a suit. That's why tailoring is bankrupt. You guys don't honor intelligence. It's really hoodies now. You all work for Uriel. You see? Why? You know? Wow, what the fuck? I'm not getting good light in here. Let's see if this is better. So you're going to see what it is, right? So there's not, there's not really enough stipulatory intelligence about the real world we live in. And it's just like fake chicanery and fake shit. So the real ones, we got to stay quiet because like the media circus is a hype train on TV. They pay those people to be staple and to melt down with as simple as a nap, a drug, and a gun. Like I noticed I was doing these little catering events. This is bullshit. Just a way to make three or four hundred dollars. I'd be at a little hotel for three days. When I leave, they schedule a wedding and plan that as a murder. But it's like I'm not going over no fucking, you know, family celebrations with y'all. Y'all assholes get canceled. They actually became sacrificial goons and just vampires. Y'all are killing yourselves with your selfishness. You can jump into the spear, but there's nothing down there but despair. And the lies of your worst self. So a meal that hurt if you want. You will not find salvation. Right? Salvation is everything in your life just right. It's the your. It's the world of tomorrow. The, 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 excuse me, I'll explain it. I'll tell you what it is. It's the, um, it's the, uh, it's the harmony and the coalescence of all earned things, earned work, good work, righteous works and righteous deeds. That's what it is. It's the harmony of all of that in perspective. So when you're in a place where this disease and mnemonics and yapping around you, you got to egress. Don't fall into fake uh, stipulatory shit. You see? It's a banquet of hyperviolence and just indolence, right? I hold down any graphics publishing firms. I'm at 3D. I'm at that XYZ axes. You see? I project intelligence. Burst limits. Listen carefully. You see? You got to know what you are. So that's it. Craft carefully, friends. You're going to notice. I was, I, I was going to go back. Uh, in terms of Atrium, I'm going to talk about a little bit about walking out of buildings. So this doorman shit is Gestapo shit. That's first. Another one is, uh, what else? Atrium is a big one because we talked about like rapes and hotels. Like you, if you, if you, they can get the key from inside your house, they'll just take it. That's why the worst abuses are social engineered ones. They just look at you in the face and lie until they find a vulnerability and they just kill you. You know, the biggest titans can die. You know, just because you're just too trusting. That's why they say double sevens lonely work. You know, while y'all sitting on the side one squawking about your fucking snatches, uh, itching you, y'all don't know what the fuck y'all doing. You don't honor basic relationships, so y'all get y'all get canceled. So the point I'm making is that doorman right now played himself. He doesn't have an owner who pays him, but he's he's a, he he admitted that he doesn't know that the directors of Marvel are not paid, right? So he's obviously not doing. He can't even walk down and see a movie theater and know. Oh, I'm not really doing my job. Every building should be honored. It's not just some falling into bankruptcy and stock market uh, depravity and secrecy and death. It's really all of you all fucked up. You paid for this mafia type, type uh, illusory reality of hyperviolence. You don't even like it when other people have money. So the top ones with the biggest banks, we make the biggest, best products. You'll find yourself buying less and less shit. You'll find yourself buying dulled ass shit for your slow egos. All right? I'm not nice today. All right. So that's what it is. It's an easy thing to fix. Biggest bank, biggest material production, that's it. I mean, the, your biggest temptations you end up abusing, you end up getting stuck trying to get them again, and you can't, you know, because you really feed the prowess to the people that you hated the most, which is us. That's why I just stuck around and let y'all, you know, deal with this shit. It's just Gumby, a voodoo for my shit. It's just voodoo for my It's not really Gumby. I, I just, Gumby's a joke about a show you guys can watch. Voodoo for my all the way. So look, RCN, DirecTV. Several big networks now. I mean, what they did is they basically shot me out of an apartment in a proper method of paying bills. How's one of the investors of Gmail stuck at a 540 credit score on Credit Sesame? What are they telling you? I don't have a bank I walk into and, and, and whip out 100 million. So all your favorite rappers are bankrupt. They're finished. Right? They didn't pay for their beats. So. Don't, don't let it be a domestic tragedy. I see why Jehovah's Witnesses are smart. It's not going to be birthdays or none of that shit. I mean, y'all plan, y'all organize those weddings for murder. And that's what I'm saying. Most righteous people have very good skill 
uh, in finance. But I'm just saying, I, I take a little from every religion. You're going to see why everything has some truth in it. Um, and there's some good, good lessons to be learned. But anyway, heal yourselves. Go to my Twitter. Go to Malik Francois underscore. And uh, click on the tweet pinned to the top of the profile. You're going to see four supplements there. You could just click on them directly, the, the direct, the short links rather. Buy all four of those. I said that already, right? Get yourself a large water. I can't have people in New York or wherever they are stipulating disease and indolence around us. It's not, it's not really what it is. We got to hold it down for intelligence. They actually tried to damage my vocal cords, my brain, my arm, my body, my everything. They were injecting shit around me. They were putting poisons while I was asleep. Because the thing is, when you have a little depression or energy loss, you sleep longer. So that means a cycle of abuse. People come around, you fucking with your shit, you see? So that's kind of a trick. They'll get you however they can. But in the end, uh, you all just get vampirically get absorbed by ghosts. We don't really need to see y'all. So <clears throat> make sure you... Uh, oh, that's what I want to talk about. The, the sensor, sensory um, resolution in terms of honoring what you say and how you express yourself and what you learn. That's this idea of the passage of the truth. That's why you guys got caught in Babel where you lie all the time. You're just kind of lost holding your phones, feeling trying to feel secure. I understand. I mean, I, 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 Apple didn't pay me. They brought around such bankruptcy and abuse that I'm not holding that money. So they got stuck. Notice if you check the news, Apple and Tesla how to dissolve stock. That's a big, huge deal. That's a huge monolithic tech deal. So obviously they're not paying the directors of Microsoft and Google and the best animators and developers uh, for ID software and all the game companies I work with. I work at Digi Digital Extremes, Iron Galaxy, many game companies. The thing is when you make a dope ass graphics title, things get better. But you just need better computers. That's the point I'm saying. I'm using a, you know, a, a Windows Home Microsoft device right now, but you know, if you fuck with the biggest servers and the large cloud servers, those are huge, huge rooms of computers, right? And the whole joke about it is that those are not like, you know, from the 1970s. These are really, really advanced machines, and they're even better ones. We practically use spaceships now to stipulate AI, so it's, it's just dope as fuck. So respect Microsoft and Azure AI. You need to know things are being built well. We want to have a, an economy where robotics work well. I mean, I know we had money. I was basically doing, you know, Shy Guy from Mario 3 as an extra in the background, you know? Uh, when you see that little shell roll up, that little, you know, Kumpa shell, you know we're making money, you, you know. So it's not even a thing, right? So bigger games, older games, we had to get better. That's the whole joke, because you got to stipulate your career as a director every year. We do wuxia movies in China. We do all types of dope movies in Hong Kong. Every region in Asia really had, like, a film company they did with us, at least something they liked. My father was already doing that at Shaw Brothers. You see, that's why Spectrasonic and, and the ill production apps are so dope. If you hold it down, you do it every year, and you hustle, and you really got the hunger, you're going to see why it matters to show, to show up and show force. Right? People need it. They want consistency and excellence. They, they, don't want, they, they don't want the year that follows to be worse. I told you guys about Dungeon Family and Watch Out for the Hook. Listen to that song. Search for that on YouTube. Dungeon Family, Watch Out for the Hook. It's really cool, Breeze. So uh, that's it, sensory honor. So look, I see you guys wearing the Nickelodeon shit, the Sesame Street shit, I never stopped. Um, it's torture at this point to physically claim banks don't work. So I'm just saying, you guys might want to leave New York. I still see people coming to New York City from buses and planes and you're walking around talking shit. You know, parks, wherever you go, don't even spend money here, all right? It's, it's, a, it's a graveyard. PlayStation did not get paid, right? So like, we, get, we, we cancel it. I work at all the best manufacturing firm. It's not gonna happen. You can go to Razer, R-A-Z-E-R.com and get the fucking best laptop we have. Get the eGPUs, if you want, right? And get the really nice screen. I mean, we're already into smart homes, I'm just saying. Have a, have a TV the size of a whole wall of your house, but at least have something intelligent to learn and to explore. Don't just sit and binge watch shows about nothing. I mean, there are, there is intelligence in, 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 in entertainment and art. We're actually stipulating that higher dimensional, higher resonance uh, frequency now of better, more well-constructed and well-harnessed information. So you evolve, your health is better, your perception of reality is better. Remember, your body is a conduit for this dimension. I say that a lot on my social media. Accept that, right? And the next one is, I'm going to say it again. Seeds need new information to evolve. Remember that I said that too. Right? Remember that I said that also. Okay? Give me a second. So, I'm telling you what it is. So, so that's survival and procreation. All right? 
I'll, I'll talk about CRISPR and redundant gene disease, but it's like you, you, when you get into cults of incest or uh, harvesting kids' organs for stem cells, what they're saying is that the transsexual culture is out of control. You know, like men want to become women now for what? I've actually had a transsexual, a leg, not even legendary one, but a pretty famous one actually. It was a kind of like kid that was a boy, turned himself into a female, and then basically paid to rape me, I think, in the year, like a, a couple of years ago. Disgusting. I showed up at someone's house, basically shot in the chest after this fucking gross ass, you know transformation of a person I don't know what they are they physically couldn't stipulate the right organs so they can't even let you see them naked that's what's fucked up about it that's what I'm saying ladies it's, for me it's try before you buy we're usually we're having sex and we're very intimate before we're getting married if you're not understanding that you didn't really you know join me in this harmonious uh, you know reality we're stipulating it's just not a real declaration that we're together and that uh, you know you don't really see what a person's love is uh, at an intelligent level. That's why it really is yoga, kind of, and not yoga, but really the Karma Sutra. But yoga at first, you know, basic intimacy is what you want. Secondary shit is not. You know, like you you, you guys are basically bringing all of your guilt and your hopes to a wedding, and that's you hope that's going to bankrupt you and save your career. And, and I haven't even really seen you. I don't even know who you are. That's what's, I mean, they actually try to do this shit to me, kill me at a wedding, no less. So I, I don't know what this is. This is bankrupt evil evil mental health domestic uh, obsession and paranoia mixed with like evil hateful shit because no one really had to suffer for me to find love remember y'all were coming out as early as age five um you know so you know y'all never had a story so anyway Cruella de Vil, 101 Dalmatians uh watch those old movies man you don't, you don't, you don't even understand all this shit is cyclical all this shit happened already to biotech developers they already did this they create cults about cults about islands about people they want to trap and capture and leave sick and kill you know you'll notice when you cross a bridge where there's a corollary where you're going to a new jurisdiction which is a place where the name of the town is different and i guess the judges there that preside are different they're going to admit that they're all bankrupt fucking dollars they'll never ever pay you you know but when you go someplace else and the law is different or even the consent of the community is different they're looking to solve problems or maybe make things different so that's what i'm saying you actually have to cross a line sometimes you see what i'm saying this one i'm telling you carefully you got to be ready to actually cross a line like you have to move you have to egress so don't get stuck you know, so that's what happens when you guys show up places and you lie. When we move again, you guys bankrupt the internet and you extort everything. So it was Veyron, friends, and a couple others, you know. But I still think systemically, you know, the world fell apart energetically because a lot of the better technology we made was still just kind of like just moving along. It was just good steel technology. We did material arts. I do software. I do art. But it's design and measurement oriented. We have to be precise. It's about proportions. Make sure relationships make sense. Make sure things have value. They're engineered well, constructed well, you know. Don't just think of something. Make sure you finish. And that's kind of what's wrong with the production line. And communities like ours, you guys get stuck in your little cults, but you don't actually secure in the valid, valid, value and validation of others. But I'm seeing systemically uh, different, different immigrant groups, you have different narratives of how you feel, you know. But you still don't really, to a man, speak your peace and you pay for rape and torture and abuse. You can do that shit if you want, but you'll still end up fucked up because you're not really spiteful enough to hurt us because we don't really hate you enough to suffer you we don't love you enough either so you're just stuck in your own obsessive parables about shit you can't rule and that's the lesson there right so you know upgrade your epithets about what you want to be and what you think you are that's a lesson all right consider that so i'm going to go back to atrium and i talk about sensory evolving you're still wearing these shirts about all these fucking bankrupt tv shows i'm sorry but y'all turn that shit into torture as a collective you should have bankrupted yourselves or left new york we could just leave the city i'd rather see it be vagrant but you're not telling me that i'm not driving the illest vagrant ever or the ones i made recently Right? So that's a scam. Tow truck's done. Next. Traffic cops, they done. Why are you putting tickets on stolen metal? You shouldn't even be riding buses. Right? Because the bus was supposed to be a safe place for kids to get to school. And now you're shooting professors out of a job. Like, I couldn't be teaching art better than everybody in New York. Then Parsons, FIT, and like another university had a scandal. They had a fake scam where they claimed I was a CEO. Right? Of course I have to be. How are you going to get Affinity Photo and Adobe, both companies that stole from me? Really, Affinity is not really stolen, but I, I bought it at least. But Adobe's definitely stolen. Right? You're not paying me for the work I did as a graphic designer in my youth and not claiming you building a software off of my biotech engineering. And you even lying to me about it as investors. You came around and waited to see how, how bereft I was of, of knowledge and then shot me in the head. That's kind of what these meetings are with these cult leaders. You have no fucking respect for nothing. You didn't really do shit. So grow the fuck up, right? And I got to cancel some of these more modern companies. I can't have you claiming that I have to manufacture cars in Germany and Sweden, whatever, and you're not paying for those. So don't fucking try it. You see what I'm saying? So it's, it's local American only. I, I, any, any, anyone in America with, with conditions I have in terms of the skills of using biotech and having to do art in an age of information and technological, technological growth of the internet would get stuck like this, you know? Because you all end up at the top thinking, well, what do I really want to buy? 
<coughs> first you realize better health, of course. Better lo fam uh, local stipulations, your tribe, your family, things like that. And then maybe things to learn or explore. You know, you realize there's nothing that's really satisfying about clashing metal. You know, I mean, you don't want to hurt yourself or make wars on purpose. You want to make sure you know why you're living and what the goals are. You see? So that's what I'm saying. So anyway, the sensory shit is stop looking at lies about yourselves and each other. You don't really come through with respect. Uh, you know, we got to validate currency. You know, I don't have to pay for work. I don't have to pay for losses. I don't have to pay for slavery. I, I have to egress. I got to move on. In fact, I'm definitely moving out of this jurisdiction because you turn this mnemonic town into a cult. You didn't pay for shit. And there's no real estate stipulations. So, you know, and then now it's really about like the chastity and pride of, you know, really kind of a cult of people that I admit you don't even really discuss your tribal heritage with us. You don't discuss your fears, even your insecurities and what you want to resolve. But you're, you will lie and extort money right in front of us, which is not even a real thing either. And you don't really resolve emotional solvency between, you know, our groups, which is like, what do you really want to know? And, and you claim that you build large corporate conglomerates really with stolen information and stolen emotions, which is the shit that you guys buy now up to this point of engineering and, and, and uh, solvency. It's so stolen. It's so it's so energetically fucked up that you're not really winning with it. You see what I'm saying? You're not really winning. You, you, you have to kind of put aside the fake shit. So it's, it's really more so. Hendrix. But anyway, the whole point is, uh, you know, it's I, I put in work in the vine, and, and I don't build things I make because I want to m impress you. I make those things because I really need them, and I and I enjoy them. So the lesson here was it was about Tracy Chapman, fast car. All right, listen to that. Go go search for that song on YouTube. Let me move a little bit. I'm back. I just can't fucking get away from people. Whole fucking park, and someone's right next to me. So listen to what I'm saying, all right? So don't don't let them put you in this vortex of like stipulatory and fake shit, all right? Because it's just like a, a persistent lack of legitimacy now in terms of how things are built. Hold on a second. I don't think my camera has uh, what we call light adjustment, so if it's just too dark, it just blacks out. It could be some fucked up, but we'll, we'll see. I don't care. It, it, it still works fine for now, for my goals at least. So, you know, that's what it is, friends. We got to make sure emotions and intelligence and things that are built correctly really do dominate, you see? So you don't want to get stuck in a fake world of chicanery and limitation. Make sure things make sense. So like I said, the sensory is, you know, if you smell something, if it smells of sickness and disease, you should know, I should try to, uh, to raise the consciousness of this place. Right? I want to make sure the disease is bereft of you. That's why I'm saying a little good stipulations in OSHA, hazmat, nursing. You want to know, like, when things are on you and just not right, you know? What's good about OSHA is they'll teach you, like, if there's a thing like a hole in the floor or the ceiling, you got to know, like, oh, shit, this, this, this property as of right now is not livable. And you might even want to know how would you fix that problem with a construction company so you know who to call and what to ask for. See? These little things, these are good emotional solvency, but New York is breath. It's just too much thugging. Everyone is basically shooting their way in and out of relationships. Uh, people that claim they're building businesses really intimidate and abuse others. People that have the skill, they kind of, you know, they got to keep working, but it's like, oh, shit, like, I actually end up dealing with violence because I'm a little too elegant. Well, that's the thing. I don't really need to leap across the internet to shoot you guys. If you don't know what you want, then you, you didn't really respect your own country because I was in Haiti minding my business. Well, actually, not minding my business. I was dealing with a lot of violence, actually. I was dealing with a lot of violence. Uh, sometimes times were good, sometimes they were bad. And I basically was kidnapped in New York. I mean, not really kidnapped, but they brought me as a kid. Oh, you're a minor, you can't travel, you're this, you're that, you're that. Now there's not enough nutrition, the health insurance is fake. I didn't have a real doctor. Uh, you basically, as a collector, you're all trying to kill me. So that's what I'm saying. Then I found out this is a fucking pitiful story, man. I saw Israeli kids, they didn't really have like a proper temple. They had like one museum. And they just put Star Wars in there. I'm sorry, friends. I've been not to, not to the old public the whole time. So, like, y'all need to chill the fuck out and grow up, right? Because it's like little uh, Hebrew catering cult. It's not a real thing. It's not all the Jews doing this. But enough for you that you guys need to grow up, right? I got to get paid and grow up for real. So, then uh, the Arabs were nasty. Y'all basically made a couple cults about, like, basically beheading me. And God came to my village in Haiti and was talking shit about Islam and just cut my fucking head off. And I had to regenerate again. And I mean, I, I think I, my entire town at one point... Uh, had like you know after death experiences it was insane just the, the amount of cruelty there and the amount of uh, level of advanced science required to cybernetically regenerate yourself it's, it's actually incredibly complex but necessary that's why when you mix high science with like drug abuse and domestic problems and banking felonies and just selfish criminality and evil there's really no emotions around kids in those communities you know it, it's all fake lie there's so much power that they can be built, uh, destroyed and built again that's what I'm saying watch the movie Pinocchio watch Pinocchio all right they want people that can, you know, build and reconstruct anything around them. That's kind of what it is with diplomats. They end up suffering a lot in their youth even because they know it's hard for them to get to adulthood. They'll chop you to size and watch you kind of put yourself back together and see if you really want it. 
But you know, you guys don't do well in the end because I don't, I don't need to stick around. The sun doesn't either. So continue. Let me listen, listen carefully, okay? So I was talking about sensory abuse. When you smell something, make sure things are right. When you taste a food, that's the thing. We're in an age now of modern chemistry. You can affect the way foods taste. They can make foods mischievously uh, attractive, but still woefully sickening and not good for you. So don't feel like just because you taste something good, it's going to be good, right? Another one, consider this, is um, I talked about taste. I talked about smell. Try to use sen sensory if to understand what an odor is. If it's dangerous right away, you should know. Don't even smell a toxic shit, but you kind of got to recognize, recognize poisons. They'll drug you and then make force you to eat things, and sometimes that's like a lethal poison. So they take you down several poisons before they kill you. That's the thing. Remember, they've done this to me. <clears throat> so you got to have people that, got, that, 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 that fuck with you. You know, if it's the rest of the whole world relying on someone's sovereignty to save them, you might have to be that guy. So consider, Tenny, that you're the one, right? You may not be the only, but you are one of them. So listen carefully, right? All those of you out there confused about your purpose. In this age of advanced technology, all the measures they have about your value can be dissolved and they'll create a whole new standard. That's what COVID is. Nothing is real, nothing is lie, nothing is vain, nothing is fake, nothing is false, everything's a lie. So don't even listen to them, right? They'll mix everything up, right? Fuck that shit. So, senses. Use every part of your body to identify limitation, advance it to good health, okay? If you see something around you, I'm getting better now at this. I, I didn't really focus on medicine in my youth. I was mostly engineer, design, science, shit like that. I just did what I could do to be learned in advance. I mean, like I told you, they shot me in high school, shot me in college, shot me everywhere. I still see cops desperate enough to follow me to places and try to kill me. That's the kind of corny ass thing with the stipulatory secondary law enforcement. You all know what you are, but you're kind of not. It's easy to be a cop, but not really. And you still don't really fuck with us, but claim you don't know us. But you'll watch the economy and commerce lie everywhere we go. That's the thing. It's mnemonics. If you don't want to be somebody, don't. But I am. You see, I don't need aliases about nothing, right? By the time you make those, you realize I can't honor those where I come from. Nobody gives a fuck. No, I can't honor those in New York. You don't give a fuck either. You're not going to make corporations you ever paid for, right? So learn to grow the fuck up, right? It's Spectrasonic, man. I had to inherit Epic and Geffen Records from Michael Jackson and his crew and a couple other really big bands and other labels, Time Warner also, and they were just so destructively vain. I mean, they were just at, at odds with each other. And you guys basically threw a lot of fake shit in my records. You basically shot me and violently attacked me. And in my civility and dignity, I got better and stronger, and I learned how to do well. But it's like when you guys turned uh, within and on, on against each other, you realize you were never going nowhere. Uh, you were just corrosively sick as a collective. So don't fucking try it, all right? I'm an easy guy to get along with. But once you brought around, around the weapons first and your excuses and your fucking meltdown prone attitudes, I didn't need to see that shit, all right? I was a good scholar then. I'm a good scholar now. I'm highly perceptive. Highly perceptive and linguistically skilled. Proceed. Remain learned. Right? Don't get caught in that vortex where you can use a weapon, but you can't talk to someone with respect. Right? So that's the thing. It was really about the Marines and a lot of transsexual cults. People, you know, will fake surgeries. They'll become men. Men will become women. They, they do anything they can to to just be these fucking fifi geishas that can sneak into an, through an, into an empire on a rug and they think they'll win with that. Grow the fuck up, man. You gotta stipulate real skill every day. Even if you're sucking on a rug, you better be learning every day. You better become uh, aspiring to be a grandmaster. In fact, roll on rugs as much as you can. You know, you fucking... <laughs> so, as soon as you're done with that, we have real things to, to learn, real problems to solve, and real things to accomplish. So get ready. So listen. Like I said in another, my, one of my other videos, it wasn't just game design. Sometimes I had to do research and I had to stay committed. So that's what it is, friends. It, it, it's rough, but that's kind of what you're asking for. It's that voodoo from what you should. But don't make it seem like you're working. It's not. You're, you're not. We hit him with a swirkle, all right? So listen carefully. You honor your senses, friend. You guys talk and you don't say shit. I, I, I walk up to, I ask my people for pyramid notes. I hit, I hit them every day. You got a dollar. They say, of course, we got a dollar. We got a dollar for you, man. Pyramid note all the time, right? Which I respect. Not really. I'm missing trillions of dollars. That's what I'm saying. Don't even mock this whole single dollar system. You guys are not going to be even using debit accounts in a couple of years because honestly, you didn't really honor even banks in your community. As soon as you walk in and you take out cash, you just say, hey, the directors of Marvel Avengers didn't fucking get paid, all right? So when you suck and when you're hurt, Make sure you know, oh, I was systemically abusing Malik for eight months. <laughs> you saw me all over New York. I saw a guy had the audacity in a story to tell me, oh, I saw you so many times. Of course you fucking did, right? But you were still not learning, okay? You don't have a reason to work for money. If the people around you are not doing well, no one's going to stipulate you. We have to have better standards than just race and cliques and ethnic groups. It's not a thing. If that's the case, y'all really shouldn't be in New York. Remember, it was Chippewa, oh my God, it was all the ill-ass fucking native tribes, the Yoruba uh, out here, basically just living our lives. And y'all basically came and fucking dumped your swallowed ass story about banks and marble that you want to rule. Your egos are too small to have marble that nice. That's what I'm saying. Masonry is important. The metal around you conducts energy. I'm sorry, the stone around you conducts energy. You know, so be ready to tell the truth, you know, of what you are. 
But anyway, it's 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 psychopathic. It's wild. I understand that emotionally we we flip, we 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 vibe, we vibe, we leap, and we change energetically from everywhere we go. But if you can't be someone where you are, telling the truth, then it's a sham. So I'm just saying, don't make up fake stipulations about your love, your intelligence, the way you really relate to life. It's just it can't be something that's sincere if you don't really have things you enjoy. You see, so. So that's what it is. Make sure the things you do really matter. That's why that's one of the big bankruptcies of the uh, law of attraction. When you're getting inside and you're stipulating what kind of life you want, make sure it's one that feels good. This idea of feeling is a main lesson. I believe it or not, since we're sensory creatures based on biology, our experience is about a chemical response to everything in life energetically right, based on your understanding. So even when you you know, when they're pro promoting all this guilt and ignorance around you, they do this to kids a lot in New York. They just always lie to you every day until they get tired of you. When you turn 18, you don't do what they say. They kick you out on the street. That's basically what this evil, evil, hyper-violent hyper culture is of the Vatican. Notice how hip-hop is worth 40 trillion, but Heavy D can't walk into a bank, right? And now Drake is always talking shit. That's why I did Worst Behavior, right? They got to get a couple beats from Warner Brothers. They, I got signed by Cash Money. That signing was two shootings. And they fucking ran for the ass. So I'm saying don't fall for these losers. It's, everyone in hip-hop has something that they got to sell to as a guilt prop and something they get as an extravagant gift, which ain't shit. It ain't shit. It's millions of dollars and really just a lack of your own personal resolution. That's what I'm saying. I, I resigned myself to the burbs. I piffed my weed in quiet and resolution and peace. I don't really need the ego circus, right? That's what I'm saying. Listen to these people get on TV and fucking banting yap the asses away until they sick. I'm one of the founders of this shit. I was doing reggae before we even meth methodically took over hip-hop. And then I had to leave it behind because it was just too fucking fake. You see? Energetically connect with the real, right? So that's what I'm saying. That's what's next for the youth is make sure that when you spit in their lyrics, you should be reading a lot. Read every day. For look for a book. That's not, don't don't go to the fake Borders Barnes and Noble shit. I work at Borders. I worked at Barnes and Nobles too, but they their bankruptcies they don't pay, so cancel that bullshit. And don't even read about all these sacrificial books about losers. Uh, Run DMC was an evil, evil bankruptcy, and you guys wrote so many books about oh this is missing DJ. This you know what the fuck heavy D is man, right? Brome ducats. All right, give me a second. All right, so listen, I'm gonna tell you what it is. All right. I'm just, I'm just telling you the facts, right? So I'm just saying they're, they're gay bisexual bands that are physically abusive and they always lie and they're just like acting like they're thugs. You guys worship your anuses. Grow the fuck up, all right? It's man, man, mothers, fathers, sons, and daughters. That's the natural harmony of the cosmos. You made whole cults about fake shit and then you became hyper-violence in vain and you never fucking paid for the best beats. Ever. So stop the bullshit. It's chicanery. Listen carefully, all right? So that's what I'm saying. I was talking about the sensory appearance. When you see me, you've got to tell the truth to a man. Say, Marvel's Avengers director didn't get paid. we got to fix this shit, right? Uh, there's no amount of sacrificial bankruptcy from the president and all these fucking dollars. The president is supposed to make 160 stacks a year just holding down a desk. If you don't like that fucking job, you want to make more money, do something else. That's all it is, friend. How's someone making billions of dollars saying, I'm going to run president? Now you, you're, you're, you're bankrupt, man. you got felons on pending. That's what I'm saying. Don't even bother with mine. I'm not even going to come look for you. Just don't fuck with my shit and stop spying on us and being stupid dullards. I still see the Marines coming around acting like I haven't fucking addressed you assholes. My God, you asshole. This catering cult is bullshit. It's bullshit. Y'all fucking putting my name and shit and using my information and then claiming y'all running my fuck out of here. Y'all dollars got canceled already. Damn. Still stalking my shit on the internet. I have some of you old fucking orglers claiming that's the real work. It's not. It's a maritime mercenary force. All right? That's what the problem with this government is. We don't know who our official government employees. That's why I can never officially work for the government. You don't honor real sentiments in the licenses and the, and the deliberations you resolve. And the SSA is not the government. It's a basic civility for people that actually have to fucking be somewhere. Shit, I got a name, a social security card. Ain't nothing on it. So you're not paying me to do better. Right? Give me a second. So grow the fuck up. It ain't even a real thing, right? We're not counting money out here. Stop making banks and then selling squalor. TD Bank has an evil disease. Drake, don't ever fucking talk about you counting money at TD, all right? You five hours away on a train. I get shot in Metro North. I get shot on the PATH train already. You see? So we got to resolve things. You see? That's why I'm not nice with these Gestapo. They're not even really police. I think they get their uniforms and come around looking like pseudo thugs. You fucking dullards. Grow the fuck up. We got to hold down industry. Somebody has to do the work that you like or that you steal, you vagrants. Listen carefully. So I talk about the sensory orders. If you hear something, make sure you recognize. I have to heal here. If you see something, something is not right. I should know to do better. You know who the fuck I am. Don't talk about some owner or you private property, nothing. You about to bankrupt your fucking private property, you dullards. Nothing about this economy is real. Money is fake, right? It's not based on what you think it's worth or what your presidents tell you. It's about equanimity and value. Once the conscience loses, once the conscience is bereft, it is done. I see my peers 
uh, in more signs talking about how we have to protect the legal system, the court system. If you don't vote, we'll lose it. If you don't vote, we'll lose it. I honor that. I hear what you're saying. Look, hear me this. What they're saying is these losers have no qualifications. They're not supposed to be doing this job. It's environmental rating. It's human rights. Right? It's, um, you know, it's the natural harmonies of life. Love, peace, truth, freedom, and justice. These are natural things. We, we know that these are harmonious things for our families and our, cons our, our, our definitions of consent and emotional resolutions. Right? However, when everything around you is fake, everyone got to lie on another story. You guys walk around in New York really bankrupting yourself. I definitely don't want to see y'all talking shit to me. Don't fucking try it. You guys actually pay for tickets to Marvel's Adventures and then showed up looking stupid. So I'm back to other shit now and I got to export it because I, I, I can't have y'all coming around me claiming you didn't pay for Bowser and now you're trying to steal the next level shit and you still gawking about how you'll put a bullet in my chest before coming through with respect. You're all pathetic, man. So I'm just saying, you know, you're going to talk to Grim. I'm sorry. Let me keep going. So... So look, I talked about how, um, you know, honor your senses. Make sure things around you make sense. You should see that if things can be healed or fixed, fix them. If you need to tell someone to communicate, I actually find you in the city not being able to talk about things. You, your yoga is disgusting, friends. It's not disgusting. It's not stipulated. You have genitals. Uh, you have uh, you have a digestive system. You have cardiovascular system. You have, a, you know, you have a, a dermal system, an epidermal system. You have a nervous system. You have... You know, all types of muscular, you have a musculoskeletal system. These are different parts of your body, friends. They're just a part of you. Just know what these things are. Go to Google. Study the major organ systems of the body. It's actually more now because we have more complex organ systems, cannabinoid systems, lymph nodes, all these. But you want to know these things. You want to know how you can fight disease with the tools you have. I'll be honest. I basically have been transient. I've been sleeping on the street for seven months, right? Um, I've done really well. You know, it's just the key. And when it's cold outside, you can't physically survive the winter. You know, that's what's fucked up about Manhattan. No drug. You bring you to a building and shoot you. I've actually had that happening before in real estate. They actually think that that's a real definition of what you're doing. So I'm just saying, you're all bankrupt fucking pseudo thugs. My message to the Jews, because I've dealt with so much violence from the Jews and the, the Israelis, because you're all really pseudo thugs. You never have a real story. I'm going to tell you what it is. <clears throat> um, you backed a lot of big deals. Diddy, Puffy, Biggie. You told them, we'll pay you with big bank accounts you have. Just keep Heavy D sick and stupid. We want to keep him on the side. Because they knew about Disney, they knew about the big deals my father had. They wanted to snub Frank. They don't fuck with Frank. So now y'all looking real stupid, man. Don't ever came and claim that you came in my family sideways. Y'all fucking dollars get canceled. Real adults, we talk to people about real metallurgical problems. You know, I have economic problems. I have metallurgical ones. You know, you're talking about boulders you're trying to avoid. Friends, it was Indiana Jones. All right. Indiana Jones the whole damn time. All right. Just watch that movie, okay? We worked on that. I did that damn thing. Okay? It was fun. I do a lot of movies. All right? I, I, I'm making large blockbusters. And my father, my father did stipulate blockbuster. He was just, you know, they paid him to sell out too. If it's, if it's, if it's everyone against your son, then just kill him. They actually think like this. It's, it's kind of the last sort of ditch mafia shit. My mother did this shit too. Um, so that's the thing is when there's big bankruptcies, if we could just kill them and take all his money, they love it because they, they don't really see me value much. Their churches, their cults, their corporations don't really give them things to believe in. But I'm moving to the next level. I have to advance, you see? All of you do. There's more to love and more to life. And that's why excellence in everything that we make is really fun. My brother said, you got to watch out. They were already telling you they like this. But he's smart. He has better ways of getting around. So do I. But I'm just saying, you, you actually think I'm going to leave, depart of my own consent, and when I egress? that uh, I have to actually lie to you that I did any of this. I'm, I'm just going to tell you straight up and I'm going to do it. And that's it. Everything's going to change right in front of you. You know, what, whatever had to be secrecy or kidnappings or this shit, you're all pathetic and indolent. I mean, you didn't really do anything with this shit. Right? Remember, listen to Vice um, Networks. They were talking about how the U.S. government basically spent another $40 trillion and in my estimation killed between... About 5 million people. It, wasn't, it was shocking how few people they killed. That's sad because it's woeful just weapons destruction now. They're just blowing things up. Uh, and they're really thinking that they're doing something. And that's kind of the sad thing about it. They just don't have a real story. So, so like I said, I'm going to wrap this up. Uh, I want to talk about Atrium. Atrium is weird. It's like you, you go into someone, where with someone. That's kind of the whole po sort of uh, pro-pimping culture is. I, I deal with these losers that are sort of ex-military, which they're really not. You're never coming to America as a veteran claiming you got to kill Americans over shit that you lied about and stole. I know you guys go to the Bikini Atolls and look at aliens, spaceships every day. I don't give a fuck. If you don't have the conscience, you'll never get near that level of technology. So you come back to New York or wherever you're at, losing your minds. And eventually you just kind of die by jumping into the spear. You really need to know who you are. It doesn't matter what's around you. The universe has levels of intelligence more powerful than you. They don't care that you're struggling. They kind of do. But, you know, are you going to take responsibility and do better? And what that means is ask, friends, or try. See, try. Very important lesson of the first law of attraction. So, Okay. 
to err is not to try. A very important lesson of the first law of attraction. When you're in the middle and you see things frustrating around you, you know that there's a better way to get there, but you have to sort of pick a more better organized plan or you have to you know make sure that the individual steps of making the connection between conceptualization to manifestation are actually in place so if you got to get something delivered to you make sure you get a delivery confirmation right because <laughs> the journey is important consider that little things like that that's what i'm saying with the law of attraction you need to know that things have to be made completed and resolved that's what i'm saying right consider that lastly you know if we're if you guys are against us at every level then just don't fake your careers just choose to do better which is, um, you know, build legitimate things. But, like, don't let people bet, buy things for you and make legal deals or fake shit. I mean, I've seen my family turn on me over weapons deals, which is nothing. So I just didn't need you guys coming through in the end claiming you were in control. In reality, you guys paid for the abuses you sponsor. You, you snorted cocaine until it made you insane. And then you bought, paid for drugs that kept you alive. And then you used biotech to keep you employed in corporations that admitted that, you know, we're all dying anyway. Let's just, you know, dissolve our genetics and go to another planet. I, I don't know what to tell you, but, you know, this idea of the tome of the Akesha is about the fact that, you know, we're stipulating honor. So when you guys got into this mnemonic shit, you disavowed your own senses. You need to be places telling the truth. Uh, if it's the Gestapo the work of law enforcement, just discuss it as your peers because you, you guys are now law enforcement because the people that are supposed to protect you turned against you so that means they're not your defenders you know they're not your sentinels your guardians your sharifs you see your chieftains those are the people that preside in your tribe these other guys i mean now now remember i told you this right new nypd all law enforcement in new york state have to actually have an address in new york state they can't have a, a badge or a fucking uniforms about something else that's what i'm saying we're in new yorkers you should all know about what's been happening on the radio and the best fucking art and the shit, shit we do at hudson corporate playstation and all this shit you should know this shit that's what i'm saying don't get a job where you pay yourself to lie and then claim that you're still working see let's just resolve things at the level of etheric metaphysical commercial and energetic levels for all fronts otherwise stay in new york the rest of the planet has to evolve because i want to see the keshek record take over the intelligence systems of science so that we have ways of evolving super food super fuse, super evolution and really purging ourselves and leaving disease behind that's a lesson there i think these plants already exist we just had to protect them remember i was in a supplement scam in 2011 2012 about your health and how we want to rule the internet these guys are so sick and, and annoying I was a fucking Tekken as a kid, all right? And I never got paid. So everyone's running around making several cults about cults, about cults, about cults. You see? One of the best editors of the New York Times still does Dragon Ball Super. What are they telling you, right? What are they telling you? Right? Consider that last part carefully. So that's it, man. Atrium is just about when you go places, they have pimping sort of pseudo prostitution. And one guy says, oh, this woman is yours. You know, and that's like, why would, a, why would a, a, a man throw a woman at you? What he's saying is this woman is a paid and trained geisha. She's like a, a stripper and a killer and a spy. Uh, a woman that loves you can talk to you. She can say, hey, how you doing? Come by and see me later. That's what I'm saying. Don't intermingle with women not from your tribe in times of strife because they're saying that they've already paid me to abuse you. You see? They're spying on you. They're getting information. They're going to kill you if they have to. So where's the love and the solidarity? I mean, if y'all really fucking with me, we're building huge, large industrial projects. I'm telling you. And we're making art every day. And we're resting most of the time. But we don't have to be anywhere looking stupid for the gram, taking naked pictures and trying to impress females that don't fuck with us. Y'all don't come around enough with respect for me to feel like it's, there's a damn thing to you to offer. So I'm going to put my cash app on this again. It's dollar sign M-A-L-I-F-R-A-N. So y'all can start being real adults. I should be getting money from you ASAP. If not, we cancel this shit. I actually heard somebody in the, today chapping about, oh, it's quarantine. It's quarantine. Like, that's what they do. They demonize you while you sleep. And they shout things because they need you to hear something you fear. Uh, the law ain't touching me, son. I, I'll, I'll, I'll get ghosts from Egypt. Oh, old Egypt. I don't give a fuck. Right? We're moving by the old rules now. Right? You saw the movie The Mummy? Consider wisely. Also worked on that movie. You see? You see why y'all fucked up? There's no real banks in New York. Okay? So the last thing I'm going to say is it's just atrium. They peddle prostitution. Uh, they, I went to a party once. Some guy said me, this woman's yours. This person's this. And I'm like, well, what do I need to this woman for? So now I talked to her. She can't say anything. She actually was mentally ill, and she was paid to kill me. So uh, she, they said I had sex with her. She came back, shot me. I survived, and a couple other people died. Uh, it didn't end well at all. So that was another sacrificial banquet. So that's how I'm saying uh, pimping and patriotism you guys try to do that shit together on army bases and you come to america with a clean conscience y'all basically promote a vagrancy uh sometimes not all of you but some some of you felt the depravity and torture and you try to justify as real work i didn't really need that shit i had a girl when i was five i was playing the flute for her on a countryside and y'all thought it was too beautiful so you try to kill us you see now you're milling that little gear for your bitch ass hurting your pride you see look at you now right learn to love friends and leave the hurt behind
So that's it, Atrium man. Though they'll put you with people. They'll pay you. This person's yours. This person's this. Now you're sleeping. She drugs you with the spray. She gets your your room key. Gives it to someone. That these women come in and shoot your ass. And that's what it is. So I, I, I'm still looking for some of y'all. Uh, you're not gonna get to the next level. All right. And that's it. This whole marine shit is a bankruptcy. Your maritime mercenaries. Uh, the government doesn't officially report everyone that works for the government and who gets paid. We know they favor certain international diplomats over others. We also know that international judges can hold seats in the U.S. government. We know the U.S. government is a corporation. We know that the IRS and the Federal Reserve are practically international currency exchanges. They are privately run. So those banks do what the fuck they want. They'll cancel your economy anytime the fuck they want. So that's why I'm saying you're looking at scarcity in dollars. Once you guys get stuck and thinking that I got to go somewhere and get dollars for you, then that means the economy is canceled. That means Veyron's worth more than currency. And there's not enough high-level artists that will survive for you all to have things to buy. So your economy got deflated. Art actually has to cost something and make money. Science and engineering also. And construction. And all types of regenerative tasks for the economy. Right? And, and not the economy, excuse me, for our tribal welfare and our speciated, speciated welfare, our species and speciation. That's an important term because technically, genetically, we're changing regularly. Every year and a half, really, we upgrade. You know, we're changing gradually every day, really. You know, we learn from the things around us and we adapt. So, um, so that's all I was saying. Atrium is a fake shit. They bring you places. They abuse the locks. They abuse the doors. No one, I never owned a lock in New York, but I wouldn't honor all this fake shit. Uh, I don't title businesses to the police, but I don't have to steal the building either. If I have to deal with police violence, the police can't walk up to me and to a man tell the truth about all the abuses they committed. Then stop fucking trying. I'm not living here. It's not, it's not a difficult thing to learn to respect the peers around you. If you don't like us as a tribe, then leave. You're not going to uh, extort hip-hop for what? Uh, like I said, $40 trillion in revenue is what the real banking numbers are. For those of you that actually did your real work, everyone else talking shit and being emotionally irresponsible vagrant. Y'all get canceled gradually. You're noticing a lot of people are going to prison for abuses in commerce, right? It's not that difficult to do real work, friends. Just commit to it every day. Uh, leave the hurt behind. And you can't measure your careers uh, through your vagina if you can't talk to me on the phone. You see? You can't measure your weddings, uh, you know, through like a silent uh, protest if I can't even talk to you on a normal day of the week and see you naked. Uh, you know, we should actually be doing, you know, a lot of remedial work together, which is just yoga. Uh, but they think it's just a bankruptcy or prostitution. That's a scam, friends. Give me a second. Give me a second. Give me a second, man. I got. I got to get personal with you guys. I don't know who the fuck these people are. So let me tell you what it is, all right? Talk about atrium. They lead you someplace. They drug you. They got a little bead, a diode. I actually physically think, for all intents and purposes, I can't be with none of these people. Uh, they'll shoot you, rape you, wherever they are, and they're pretty squalid and pathetic. So it's it's, it's very abusive. Uh, especially older women, when they're insecure and they're emotionally vile, they, they're very nasty. Uh, younger women, they're just kind of insecure. I feel like you guys can't own your own bodies, which is okay. Just take the supplements I told you, drink lots of water, and start to physically get disease out of your body. That's the lesson I'm telling you, right? Get disease out of your body completely. Let me see. Hold on. I'm telling you. All right, I'm going to end this video now because I got I to I gotta wrap them up and make them court. But atrium is the main one. Make sure you know where you live. Don't let someone build the properties for you. They always build tricks into your masonry. A window that doesn't really close, a lock that doesn't do this, or shit like that. They change locks. I mean, y'all basically gonna lose your whole economy because you're such stipulatorily fake fucking thugs. You're not really real. So don't come to America and claim you handle our business. I mean, come on. Are you really wrecking Deadpool for free? I'm doing this, son. So... Yeah, we hit him with the swirk, okay? Schumer growth never stop working, okay? So that's what it is. Banking is not a thing. International community needs intelligence. We need art. If you don't like it, do something else, all right? Uh, biotech's been around for many decades. Uh, it's just now technology. I, I was drawing at home on my little Nana's table with my pencil and paper. They shot me. So, all right, fuck it. Joe, back to this. Uh, bipolar disorder is a fake thing. If you guys are so angry, why are you attacking people? I don't give a fuck. I'm not mourning for you anymore. You guys were promoting abuses as early as age five. I, I could barely walk before you were shooting at me. So now you're always angry about something you never really earned, which is respect. You see? Parody, right? You you didn't wake up in a world telling the truth, and you're still faking that shit. Uh, if you're so sensitive, just come around and say you want to make things better. If not, shut the fuck up, you know, or egress, get the fuck out. Or I, otherwise, I got to leave. New York is a bankruptcy. It's a real thing to make sure that your, your honor is respected. I'm still paying for coffee in New York, right? And you guys promoted slavery on the cocoa trade for centuries now. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Yeah, centuries you did it, actually, which is disgusting. Slavery is mostly about a war 
um, the Moors of West Africa lost to the Romans and the British Empire. You know, we were battling it out on the navies for I think about 700 years. That naval war broke down and they just started ravaging the shoreline. So the, 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 what I'm saying is the, Mace, the Marines and the Ku Klux Klan are a little synergistic. They have a lot of weird relationships with the church. They're trying to fuck with me. Uh, I think the Pope still is kind of pandering to my ego, which is pathetic. Uh, I don't hold any of his money. And he actually tried to take a bank account from my family, which is amazing. They actually have a large visa banking system in the Vatican City, which is disgusting. I don't, I don't ever want y'all to say my name. You're pathetic. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm saying. They'll recruit you into a cult. They'll train you to accept rape and abuse. And then when they're done, if you don't, if they don't like what you're doing, they'll kill you. So, you all pathetic. Get a real story, all right? You're going to see a visit from Grimm. So, I, I didn't, but the point I make out, I didn't need that. Kids don't, shouldn't actually be forced to accept religion. Give them until they're age 16, let them decide. Give them secular principles first. Once they can handle science, let them then go back to the world religions and study their sutras and their tribal inflections of older documents and manuscripts and holy books and physically feel like if those deep mythological and metaphorical tomes connect with the now. But to do that, you have to actually honor your own spirit guides, your animals, the energies in your own body and in your own lifespan and within your spirit. You know, your dimensional, multidimensional chakra of your spirit. Those spirits convening with you and your intelligence, they physically feel you know, your experience, your suffering, your woes, and how those transmute to the energies of your, your racial karma, your social karma, and your multi-generational karma. That's a lesson here, right? Many of you are incarnating or living with the spirit that has a certain signature as it moves through the zodiac. You have to get certain events resolved as you move through reality. That's what I'm telling you. We only honor our truest love. Those of you wasting money and paying for gangbang, and you obviously didn't read the sutras. And there's no part of you that transmutes to the next level with your abuses. You have to actually transmute healing. They claim they got to the top already with advanced science and there's nothing there. That's because you're fucking did a last losers. You don't honor love and consent. You see? You're supposed to keep evolving. And we have to commit to read this reality, this fecund three-dimensional reality of many, many expressions of genetics, but still make it a safe, healthy paradigm. You see? You don't understand this shit. You barely can get through science. And you're still pandering to these old books. You're so stupid. Don't fucking talk about me uh, and not come correct with real money because I, I just need to fucking take care of my family. The whole scam here was that you can pay for social, social work. You can pay for health insurance. You can pay for doctors to go find out how your kids are doing, right? That's why you try to keep heavy D broken, Queens. You know that you'll rape me and you'll send my kids all over the country and all over the world. And now they look at stupid counting money from extortion, right? So grow the fuck up, right? I got to take care of my tribe, right? If you're independent, keep it moving, but don't ask for solidarity when you know you're abusing money, right? Women that love me, make sure I get paid, right? They use a lot of cultural technology on you too. They get you guys to accept rape and torture and even uh, civil and sexual abuse for power. And all of a sudden you show up really with your conscience not intact. That's what I'm saying to you. That child in you is the one you have to protect through all the violence. It's very difficult. But that is the true self of you. That child in you. That innocent reverie. That beautiful version of your love. Twirling that diamond for your highest self. Seeing that there's a sublime reality. A world that cannot be touched by cruelty and abuse. You know? So fight against the indolence and the hatred. Be somebody. All right? So that's it, friend. Honor your senses. When you see something is not right, if you, anything you sense it, try to make it right. Address it correctly. Uh, if it's Gestapo all the time, we got to fucking handle it. We'll deliberate it as a tribe. We will become our own sentinels and dis disband these Sharifs. These, we're going to de-fucking legitimize the cops. Like I said, this whole drug war was a scam. They'll arrest you on purpose, beat you up, uh, put you in a medical system and say, you use the drugs you tell you. Don't use anything else. You can't use cannabis. Don't use this. But meanwhile, they're giving out fake pharmaceuticals, trash. They're giving out generic pills. They won't even tell you what's in them. You know, I'm going to tell you why some other time. I actually told you already. They, they, they don't want us researching those. But these companies are evil. Then what they do is they engineer a whole fake system around you. Are you going to accept this? I mean, you're telling me the president of Gmail is on Medicaid with a credit sesame credit score of 540. And I've been shot many times in several states in this region. And I never had a real bank or a bank account. And you're telling me that I got to remain sick so you can ease your conscience and your guilt. That'll be the last, friends. All right. So this is over. All right. I'll tell you what the fuck it is. By the way, when you see me now, don't ever talk shit about outlets not being mine. I'm looking for that owner. It looks like he's either going to jail uh, for a real estate fraud because he's not supposed to stipulate a title and not kind of report to his district about what's happening energetically and commercially in his zone, right? So you're not telling me Heavy D's homeless when you got stole Marvel's Avengers. So most likely that guy will go to prison if he even tells me his real name. So don't even fucking try it, right? We're going to put y'all un un uh, under the jail on other planets. So y'all going to get a real story. I'm telling you right now, all right? That's it, friends. Deuces. All right. No, 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 no more of these sacrificial banquets uh, of your Romeo and Juliet fantasies. You got to love from within and heal yourself. And if not, be somewhere telling a real story, at least. Right. I mean, I, I'm amazed. Um, it's just no. 
it's all stipulatory shit. So anyway, I worked on Casper anyway. These cackling birds of the Bible are done. I just had to give them a story. The rest of the economy will catch up. But uh, invest in robotics, invest in sustainable development, clean energy, organic agriculture and nutrition. You're not going to get your medicine or your nutrients from the fake shit. We have natural evolutionary cycles with plants. That's all. They work for us, especially the correct ones. Learn about the organ systems of your body. Go to Google, search for those. Study organ systems of the human body. Search for that in the Google search, okay? What I just said. Learn them all. Make sure you know what they do, what nutrients they need, what problems they solve, how to fix everything in your life, right? I've been on the streets for what? Six, seven? No, since end of April. Yeah. So that's from June to a little bit of September, kind of. Yeah, about. What is that? About four months, not even four or five months, something like that. Um. You know, they, there's nothing going on in New York that's that simple. I, I've seen so many people uh, ask for a dollar, they ain't got it. I'm sorry. So I'm just saying, don't even be mad, friends. You guys like having fun, think fun things to do on the weekend, but don't hurt yourselves in this economy. You're going to need opportunities in the future. Uh, if you want to dissolve currency, that's okay, but start to figure out a lifestyle that you enjoy. That's what I'm saying. Don't get stuck in the hurt box. You always got to have solutions for every problem. Remember, your goals are to always have solutions for obstacles. That Ganesh, 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 Ganesh. Always have solutions for obstacles, all right? Uh, thresh, 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 water crest, all right? Listen carefully. That's that good Hindu in you. You need to know all this shit is temporary. It's, it's temporal. Kujabu does not endure. Kubu does not endure. Pain does not endure. Pain and suffering are temporary. We move uh, through these phases. They're transient because intelligence and evolution sees that we resolve all. We all resolve our best life. We need to see our progenies and our family do better, okay? So survive and procreation, like I said. Honor your senses. Atrium. Honor the buildings and the, and the temples you are in. Don't let people abuse you there. Uh, survive and fight this, this banquet uh, for torture and death at all costs. These people are already sick and they're dying from within. They think making you suffer will alleviate them. Uh, it doesn't, friends. They just don't have a real a harmonious effigy of what their love is. So, Anyway, if this is bad, we're going to fucking dip New York. I think you guys stole Chevrolet right in front of me. I'm, I'm sick and mad that you did that, but keep, keep it moving. Um, I'm not going to get shot for ZR1, uh, and there's no such thing as tow trucks if you don't know, know who I am or where I'm at, so don't even bother. You guys had Carvana as a scam. Meanwhile, I made cars with biotech using cloud, the cloud and um, any type of technology I have. So how, how are you guys actually towing cars right? that I made with biotech, and you don't even address me as a man. You should bring me the best fucking electric roadster we have, and I shouldn't have to get shot for that. The truth is we're using technology to solve problems. It's not about my ego, all right? So I'm just canceling this shit. Uh, people need safe places to live, to work, and to, and to experience life. And the Marines are diddles. It's a maritime mercenary force. You can join them. You never really do shit, and you get a gun and a badge, and you can kill even Americans if you want. Uh, the Vatican is diddles. You're not looking for an international bank to st st stipulate the currency and welfare of Americans. I was a kid. I couldn't choose Christianity. I dropped that shit with the suddenness when I saw how violent and stupid you were. And you weren't proving a damn thing, all right? Lastly, um, you know, we got to honor, uh, honor, what was the last one? <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's it for now. I've said enough, right? So, an hour and one minute. Um... Honor, honor natural relationships in love, in biology. I think you guys are lost in this cult about trans rights and gay rights. I, I see. I don't see you guys honoring your, even your own body. Uh, you know, cherish natural relationships. It's just two cups, cup science. Stack one cup on top of the other. Um, you know, make sure there's natural evolution and consent to our species. That's it. Even if you invest in advanced science and reproduction and fertility, make sure that those are consenting relationships and that we're evolving and doing even better, you know, and that our nutrition is good and that our lifestyle is good. I don't want to see kids, you know, waiting to get shot and abused or forced into biotech cults by fucking Disney psychophantic mob wives. We don't fuck with y'all, right? You still didn't pay for the work movies that you saw uh, decades ago. You didn't pay for Aladdin. You didn't pay for Lion King, the movie. Right in 1996, I got shot for that movie. Try so don't fucking try, try it. I still see y'all looking really angry, uh, New York, and still admitting that all you gotta do is be mature adults, go get some real fucking money, and we we solve it. All right, so that's all it is. So like I said, I'm done. Um, it's uh, September 5th, 2020, 8:36 p.m. <clears throat> Queens County is where I'm at currently. For now, New York State is a state where I preside in this union. In the United States of America, that is the country we are in, the, the national jurisdiction, that is the flag we are under. I am a Moorish American. I'm a Moor.